I have two things to say to start this video off with. One being, there was actually something down here that's worth checking out. And the second, Wasteland 2 is happening! Hooray! Blob. Isn't it nice that it never hurts when you fall into water no matter how far down it is? And here's the thing, another dead explorer with a journal. Someone named Adolfo has been here before. And... Hmm. And so, uh, something useful for steep down below the barrack tunnels. I guess that would be the fire. Uh, crystals we picked up. Um, and also, that goes back up here, but we can also try going in here. Well, might as well now that we are down here. A uh, bunch of bricks. Let's not disturb them. And this just goes back to the chasm. Okay, so I guess we'll have to get closer to the barracks. Or not. Oh, yes. Huh. They didn't see us. Here we go. I think. Ah, this is just an alternative entrance to the catacombs. But it's worth coming down here for something which we shall be seeing soon. Hum 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 hum. <gasps> and I forget what's in here. But we passed by that important thing. Namely, here we have a golden bone which is somehow floating on water. Gold isn't supposed to do that, is it? Unless that's like a really thin hollow, uh, a hollow bone with really thin shell and... Oh, I might as well be filled with helium or something. But there's a silver nugget, here's another golden bone. I there might be something back here. No? Well, I just... Right, uh, this is the other entrance. Just wanted to get the bearings on that. I guess now we can go get on with actual grave robbing and Actually, that's pretty much it. Grave robbing! Oh, hello. Well, he didn't really see me, fortunately. Or maybe it's just she. It's difficult to tell without a decomposition. And here is another golden bone. Right there is a vase. Uh, vase. Uh, no, one commenter uh, said which way it's supposed to be pronounced, but hey, he wrote it. So, yeah, great. We have to pick that up. Of 
course someone is going to wake up and be angry. Great. Mm -hmm. oh, where to go next? And by the way, I think I should go show it. Um, let's see, here was the other entrance. I think we are here or here right now. Oh, great. Not much chance of getting past there. And of course, these are. Oh, whoa! are also both going to wake up, even the one on the left, even though he doesn't look like these other zombies. Oh, I've just run past here, toss this, so I can pick this up. Yeah. Oh crap. Got caught there. Okay. Might as well show this. Zombies cannot open doors. But. Oh, wait, they can. Crap! Anyway, it's reloading time anyway. And we are back here. Let's try doing this again. And. Uh, well, I didn't really point out it specifically before, but. Opening the door triggers a trap which causes rocks to fall. And presumably the intention is that everyone dies. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, you stay over there. Yeah, the guy who's going to the left is in searching mode, but the guy who went on to the right isn't, even though there was a bunch of clutter right next to that one. Yeah, and by the way, the reason I am pulling out my sword now and then in the shadow is that it helps figure out how deep the shadow is. Oftentimes, when you're in shadow, when you pull out the sword or brought it or the bow, it causes you to become more visible. But if you are in such a deep shadow that the light gem at the bottom doesn't get any brighter, that means you are in such a so it's so dark that while you are crouched down, enemies won't notice you even if they bump right into you least unless they are fully alerted. Now let's try this again. Yeah, I'll just run away. Okay, bye thanks. you are unable to climb ladders, but then again, occasionally so am I. I don't 
think there's anything on top of these coffins here. Why are they all the way up here on these stone shelves anyway? It seems impractical. Practical. Now, Mr. Zombie, have you left? Looks that way. So, over here to grab this. Yes. Sufficient. Um, oh, great. You're back. I'll just... Oh. Turned around without seeing me. That's nice. So I'll just mosey on along behind you, not wake up that buddy there. At least I know he is male, because the Hammerites are all male. You're going over there. Do I hear someone from here? Felix, you don't look so good. Yeah, meet Felix. He is kinda dead right now. And let's hit his bread, which might be all stale or covered in mold, but hey. Um, sound of the horn. Um, bum bum bum. <coughs> Adolfo was here. Traps. More about horn. Oh, apparently the horn. Sound of the horn keeps the barracks all sedated. It are restless. And those sounds are coming from above. <coughs> from another shooty type trap. We'll see that eventually. Ah, this doesn't lead anywhere. Let's go towards here, why not? way to go right now. I think... No. But still, that's where we came out from the tunnels. And into the... water. Oh, and this is where we came up from the water, yes. Oh, hello, you see me probably, but not going to care. And over here... More water, I think that's where the golden bone was floating. More importantly, more loot up here, I seem to recall. Ah, yes, there it is. There is also a good reason to not... Oh, hi there. Go through the middle, since there is this suspicious-looking depression. Go through here and oh crap! It's a fireball! Let me just load up. Exciting! Right. Hmm. Oh, 
thunder. It will stay right there and... Oh, snap. It has to... It has to be pretty much spot on for those things to hit. That's all for the first floor here, so we'll go up to ramp. <coughs> Hello, um, you are going to wake up, aren't you? side of the zombie. Um, oh, this is just hard stone, thought it might be metal. Oh look, whatever might this all be? That didn't trigger it. Let's try again. <laughs> Hammer-shaped trap. Whatever will they think of next? And more loot there, as well as on this side, yes. And here too. And the ladder here. And there would be the holy water font that Felix was hoping to find, I suppose. And perhaps you're wondering what's with all these <coughs> golden bones we have been looking for. Well, another golden bone here and a golden skull. And bone goes into coffin and disappears. Let's do the same for the rest. And yeah, it's just a skull and four limbs, no cold and hip or rib cage or any, anything like that. And we get goodies. Nothing actually worth money, but this will be useful as well. Ooh. Holy water. Fire arrow. Etc. Etc. And that's for all for this section. Well, I mean that part in the west there. Don't judge me! Let's do a little bit more before calling it a video. Namely, uh, going over here. Hello, see that guy? That black dude who's on fire. I think that's called a fire shadow or something like that. And this is more very hard stone, which is why I am walking so stuttery. And there are zombies nearby. Now the fire shadow can't be killed. If you inflict enough damage, it'll just run away even through walls and leave behind one fire crystal. It can't be hurt by regular damage or by water. And I managed to alert. Shadow is something which uh, was added in the gold. Uh, it only appears in a couple of spots in the entire game. 
And it's supposed to be a method of gaining well, an infinite supply of fire crystals in spots where you need to use them to progress. He's going away. Now, remember that scroll we picked up which spoke something about needing fire crystals to get one of the gemstones? Well, this is the place. As you can see, we have plenty of unlit torches around. Oh, let's get cracking. And yeah. That's going to alert the shadow as well. I think there are five torches. Those three will lit up and one more on the eastern and west walls. As might be expected, with each one there's less and less shadow. And with the last one... That spot in the middle opens up. Oh good, there's still a, full a small patch of full shadow here. And also, those open up releasing zombies! Which of course are also in searching mode from all the fire blasts they heard. Huh. And now they stop searching. And kind of froze into place. Let's see, I would much prefer to get down there without alerting Mr. Shadow here. Of course, well, screw you all. I'll just go down here. And up. Ah, oh, here we go. Say hello to the chamber of one of those gems we are after. I don't actually remember which one this is, but... And, well... Since we have some disposable weight here, let's test it out. Yeah. That seemed unhealthy, but fortunately we have rope arrows and up there some handy dandy wooden beams. So, this helps greatly in trap avoidance. And there it is. I'm going to grab it and run like hell. Because in that in addition to the pressure plates, actually taking the gem also triggers the traps and we can't pull an indie by putting something of equal weight on it. And I'll just take back my rope arrow. Oh look, rotten head stuck in the corner. And that Gemstone by itself was worth 500. Now let's see, which one is it? Okay, it's the Mystic Soul and the other one is the Mystic's Heart. Fortunately, getting out of here is easier than getting in. I can just climb up here. Unfortunately, this is going to drop us off right here and looks like the shadow creature was able to see me. I'll just hang around here until you are done searching. Yeah. 
Uh, will the Intrubitif get out of this predicament? To next time. Oh, oh great. There's a zombie too. And another one. And another. Hmm. And I have to go down there. 